Hi, I'm Daphne Bram. I'm a columnist at the Vancouver Sun and with me is Geraldine Vance, um, a friend of mine from a long time ago, but she's a resident now of Strathcona. And so today we're walking in Geraldine's neighborhood and we've already had our coffee and, and a little treat at the um, Union Market. But tell me, Geraldine, you've lived in lots of neighborhoods in lots Vancouver. <laughs> what is it about Strathcona that, that, that has attracted you and keeps you here? I really like that it's an unpredictable neighborhood that it's not you know if, if you go to some other neighborhoods in Vancouver you know exactly what you're gonna get right you know if I say to you let's go to Carisdale you have an expectation of what that's going to be like whether if, if I say to you come to Strathcona you know you could come out here one day and you could see Chinese ladies doing Tai Chi or you might go to the Union Street Market and see the guy playing his steel drums and you know you walk down a street and um, there's a little industrial there and then there's some housing and so I, I like that it's unpredictable um, I like the fact that it's, when I think of it as kind of a, a village of urban people. So people are urbanites, so they don't live in your pocket like when you live in Rosetown, Saskatchewan. Um, but yet they're concerned mm -hmm. and considerate and, you know, they shovel snow if you're not well enough to shovel snow, that kind of thing. Um, and I also like that it's very close to Van being downtown. So it's incredibly accessible to Vancouver, but it's this sort of little oasis. So in many ways, I think Strathcona is just unpredictable, and that's, for me, what I really like about it. One of the things I think that, that people, when they think of Strathcona, uh, first of all, they, they think about it, how it was rescued from the freeway, but they also think about it as being on the edge of the downtown east side. And there's a bit of, there's, there's a, a kind of perception that maybe it's not safe to live here. Tell me. So we've had no crime issues at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think that, you know, there's definitely, um, sort of Hawk Street is a long way from Main Street in many ways, even though it seems very, very close. And you, you haven't lived here all of that, all that long, but the neighborhood is definitely a, a neighborhood that's really changing. I mean, changing very rapidly. Yeah, yeah, we've seen it. We've only been here four years, and and we've seen a significant change in terms of the numbers of uh, people moving into the neighborhood, and and you know, obviously, there's controversy about that. People feel that you know, sort of affordable housing um, is being squeezed out by people buying, but you see, you know, families with young children able to move here, you know, to sort of income professional families. Um, so lots of change. Is there anything you don't like about the neighborhood? Oh, I have my on again, off again love affair with the bike lane. <laughs> <laughs> tell me about you. Tell me about the year on again, off again. But you sound like many Vancouverites. You these, yeah, I, I think these. it's a predictable thing that you know Vancouver is, is suddenly we've got sort of cyclists um, in, increasing in large numbers, and I don't think we've come to entire harmony between pedestrians and motors and cyclists and and motorists on the streets. And we see that you know through this neighborhood because it's a big it's a big bike neighborhood. So <laughs> uh, it's sort of on again, off again love affair with that. <laughs> Is there anything else about the neighborhood that, that, that you think is sort of important that you tell people when they ask you about where you live? I, I think that people don't understand that this was Vancouver's first neighborhood. There is the famous, the celebrity aspect of Strathcona. Tell me about, tell me about the, the celebrity from, from Strathcona or the near celebrity from Strathcona. <laughs> Jimi Hendrix. Oh, Jimi Hendrix, <laughs> yes, but of course, yes, just down here, the Jimi Hendrix house, his grandparents just lived here down the street, and so lots of people, that ends up being on lots of people's walking tours, and we have the shrine. I don't know if Jimi Hendrix was actually ever here, <laughs> <laughs> ever played in this neighborhood, but certainly his grandparents lived here, so. Um, and we have things like Vancouver's First Synagogue is just down the street mm -hmm. here. We've got, you know, Friby's First um, Factory is just over here. All kinds of little jewels in, the, in this neighborhood that, that people I don't think know about. And Vancouver's very first community garden. Wow. And First Laneway House. So, you know, <laughs> Vancouver, Strathcona did a lot of these things that are now being thought to be ever so cool, right? Um, a long time ago. What about, uh, there is the, the issue now of the viaduct possibly being taken out. What would that do to the neighborhood, do you think? <sighs> I, I can't imagine what they intend to do there. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I just think from a practical perspective, that's, that's not a good idea. I mean, you know, the, that is a very main artery into the, into the city, and, and I, I think that would be a mistake. And I also don't know how you remove that and suddenly build instant neighborhood mm -hmm. that, that then somehow fits in with this neighborhood. I, well, let's go and see what else we can yeah, see. Yeah, let's okay. do that.